Sagutan natin tong problem. Given the right triangle, find the six trigonometric ratios for B. Okay. So, hanapin daw natin yung six trigonometric ratios given this right triangle. So, let's start with sine of angle B. So, from the acronym, so katoa, so we have S stands for sine, O stands for opposite, and H stands for hypotenuse. So, sine B is equal to the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse. So, with respect to angle B, hanapin nyo yung side na opposite sa kanya, which is obviously itong B, right? Yung side B. Over yung hypotenuse is itong C. So, therefore, the value of B is 24 over the hypotenuse, which is 25. So, therefore, sine B is 24 over 25. Next trigonometric ratio is the cosine. So, for cosine, using so katoa, we have so ka. So, C stands for cosine, A stands for adjacent, and H stands for hypotenuse. So, cosine B is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, using this figure, ano naman yung adjacent with respect sa angle B? Yung katabi nitong angle B na side, which is A. So, we have A over C, still the hypotenuse. So, the value of A is 7 over the value of C is 25. Next, for the tangent of B, we can use so katoa. So, toa this time, T stands for tan, O stands for opposite again, and A stands for adjacent. So, we have tan B is equal to opposite over adjacent. So, we already know the opposite to B, it's side B, and the adjacent to B, it's the side A. So, therefore, B is equal to 24, and A is equal to 7. So, therefore, tan B is 24 over 7. Now, for the remaining 3, ito ay mga reciprocal lang nung first 3. So, yung reciprocal nung uh, ating sin B is cos second B. So, therefore, it's equal to hypotenuse over opposite. Or simply, C over B. So, pagbabalik ta rin lang din natin yung value nung sin B. Reciprocal lang natin tong 24 over 25. It will be 25 over 24. Next, kapag cosine B naman, ang reciprocal niya is second B. So, pagbabalik na natin yung definition, gagawin nating hypotenuse over adjacent. Or, in terms of side, it's C over A. So, sa actual value, we have 7 over 25, reciprocal is 25 over 7. Next, for the reciprocal ng tan B, we have the cotangent of B. So, we have adjacent over opposite or a over B. So, the actual value, reciprocal lang natin itong 24 over 7, it's 7 over 24. So, therefore, these are the value of the 6 trigonometric ratios for angle B. Next, given the right triangle, find the 6 trigonometric ratios for A. So, this time, hanapin naman natin yung trigonometric ratios for A. So, for sine A, we have opposite over hypotenuse. So, opposite sa angle A, it's A over hypotenuse is C. So, A is 3 and hypotenuse is 5. So, sine A is 3 fifths. Next, for cosine A, we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So, yung adjacent sa A is itong side B over hypotenuse C. So, B is 4 over hypotenuse is also 5. Next, for tan A, we have opposite over adjacent. So, we have a opposite over adjacent B. So, A is 3 and B is 4. So, tangent A is 3 fourths. Now, for the remaining 3, mga reciprocal lang to ng sine cosine ay tan A. So, for sine A, reciprocal is cos second A. So, therefore, it is C over A or reciprocal ng 3 fifths, it's 5 third. For cosine A, reciprocal is second A. So, we have C over B. In terms of the value, reciprocal ng 4 fifths, it's 5 over 4. Then finally, for tan A, we have cot A. So, we have B over A. And reciprocal ng 3 fourths, we have 4 thirds. So, therefore, these are the 6 trigonometric ratios for angle A. 
Okay, so now it's your turn. So, tayo namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.